Hello, Morris. Hi. <laughs> How are you feeling about your upcoming play? Oh, marvelous. Very excited. Yeah. Can you tell us about the title? Well, it's called Go Well, which is a South African expression, Khan Khut, or Hamagashli in Zulu. Go Well. It's a standard greeting, yeah, or farewell, yeah. It's a farewell. To tell people to travel well and... Travel well, yeah. yes, and look after yourself and... Mm -hmm. you know. And how does that apply to your story in South Africa? Well, because I travel a lot. I travel all the way from here to South Africa and then back again. Yeah, it's a lot of travel and, um, yeah. You need all the luck you can get. <laughs> I certainly do. So, is this your first time at the Siegel Center? Um, let me think. No. <laughs> no, I've done a number of shows there. Um, oh, I brought over a marvellous play called uh, Waiting for the Barbarians, written by a Nobel Prize winning South African writer. Um, Kutsia, right? J.M. Kutsia. Mm. And um, that played at the Siegel. I was in... Othello, I played Iago. No, I didn't play Iago. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> I have played Iago in my time. I know. But this was... You played Brabantio. Yeah, Brabantio, yeah. My daughter directed it. Me? That was fun. <laughs> and uh, what else have I done? Oh, you did a play And I've just... Uh, oh, right. Just done a show. It closed about three months ago. I was superb. <laughs> <laughs> You're on stage cool. for about five minutes? Yeah, I come into the, the second <laughs> half of the third act. But um, it made an impression, I do believe. And uh, you were it very was charming. called uh, a, a Prayer for the French Republic. And uh, who directed that play? Uh, Lisa Rubin. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and you had a good time on oh, that, yeah. didn't you? Oh, you yeah. met some great people. It was lovely being there in a superb cast. And the seal, the, 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 the support that you get there is fantastic. Uh, apart from just the number of people, they attend to your every need. I had my own dressing room. Oh, it was uh, superb. Well, you were treated like a little king, weren't you? No, I was, I was, <laughs> as opposed to how I'm treated at home. At home, right, exactly. <laughs> Um, and uh, can you tell us like a little bit about what it's been like coming back to Canada from South Africa after so yeah. long? What do you like about it? What do you not like? Well, I like the the peace, uh, the friendliness, the lack of physical danger <laughs> which you have in South Africa. It's uh, still a slightly dangerous country. The, South Africa, and um, you have to be careful where you go, what time of the day you go. Not overly, but to a degree, to a degree. And here, of course, it's it's open. And so, uh, oh, and and you like the fact that it's a freezing cold winter here? Don't oh you? well, yes, yes, yes. You've got to take that with the uh, yeah. But what don't you like about being in Canada? What don't I like? There's almost nothing I don't like. Um, what don't I like? Spending all this time with family? Yeah, it's a bit much. Yeah, it's yeah. a drag. Yeah, they get on, yeah, they always there, you know, what, do this, do this. Nah. <laughs> so what do you miss about South Africa? Oh, it's very strange that, you know, it's just there's a physicality about the country that lifts you up and carries you to a degree. You have to go with it, you have to be alert, you have to be strong and it's invigorating yeah. yeah and canada of course is peaceful we can sneer at the uh, country to the south of us <laughs> and you love sneering and i love sneering <laughs> <laughs> yeah but there is a there's a, a warmth and an, an intensity to south africa that oh, we yes. don't get here yeah yeah and the people are pretty amazing very passionate and yeah yeah well, so so now in your later years, I guess it's okay to get a little bit quieter and. You would think so. Eh? You would think you. <laughs> no, could but now you get to do a one-man show. I know. There's no end to it. What's that all about? I. Uh, yeah, I know. I just wanted to put it all together and and see if I could communicate that to an audience. So it's the story of why I went back when I did go back. 
how long I was there, what I was trying to achieve, how has the country changed? What do I really know about that country? I left when I was quite young and uh, I suddenly realised that there was so much about South Africa that I hadn't taken into myself and I wanted to explore that. Yeah. And I think that over the 15, 20 years that I was there, I did that mm. to a degree. So you started with about 15 to 20 years, then you did how much time in England? Oh, oh I left South Africa when I was in my early 20s. 20s. Mm -hmm. No, my middle to, yeah, my middle 20s. I uh, thought I was only going for a couple of years. Oh, it stretched to 40. No, well, you were in England. Well, first of all, in England. For about... I spent nine years in England. Yeah. And I became an actor there, and I worked up and down all over the place. And there was a Canadian I'd worked with who invited me to come to Montreal. Montreal? I said, where's Montreal? There was a Canadian girl in the company who said, it's a fantastic place. European culture and uh, North American plumbing. It's a fantastic combination. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I went, I became an assistant at the National Theatre School in Montreal and the English section, of course. And then um, I wanted to live in Montreal. I fell in love with the city. And so mm. I happened to fall in with very good people. And we started the Centaur, which I ran and acted in for 27 years. And then... And then, here we are. And the new South Africa... Formed, and, yeah, and you got called back. Mandela was there, and he invited me to come to the <laughs> no, South he Africa. Did. <laughs> Not personally, but in a way, you know. <laughs> and of course, you you had your lovely wife with you. Ah, uh, yeah, my whole family. My wife was so helpful in getting up the theatre, and it was. Difficult to leave everyone behind, but uh, the family was so gracious and so supportive. I was very fortunate in that respect, huh? to be allowed to go back for such a period of time and for things to go well. Go well. Go well. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. <laughs>